You start working hard, sweetie. Hello everybody, my name is Idali or Purple Sims, and today we're here with part six of the Garcia family. Today's special guest is this little frog. Wolfie. This frog is from Etsy. And my sister got it for me for my birthday. And then we also have a special guest that decided to join us. Or more like I forced her to join us today. I'm not going to lie. I went and picked her up and put her on the bed. You, yes, ma'am. She's here. And she's quick. No, I'm just kidding. She's here. Yes. Today's episode is part six. And as you guys can see on my screen, Lorenzo has a question. During class, Lorenzo can see that the students are not wrapping their heads around a tough subject, causing them to grow frustrated. The standard method for teaching this subject seems ineffective, but Lorenzo recalls reading about a controversial new teaching method that just might do the trick. Did he try it? I actually know what happens when you try the controversial method, which means you're fired. And I don't want Lorenzo to be fired from his job. I want him to continue being a teacher oh my god why is she glitching so in the last part stairs I saw were white so I'm just gonna show you guys I changed the stairs to black just to match the frames around the house and then I literally you know what's crazy is I literally gave them this basement right before the basement kit came out but for right now this is what we have in here I'm like looking at she looks like she's gonna want to sit on my lap Mara likes to paint and she's probably gonna want like a new space to just move her babies around. I would imagine that she'd probably like her for her babies to get some fresh air. So I went ahead and put this portable crib out here, which low key, I might need to download like some better portable cribs because I feel like this one does not really match like vibes out here. And I put more plants in this little balcony area and there's also a just canvas rack so she can dry all her painting and also just store clean canvases for her to paint. But Mara does do her main work digitally as you guys know because we just about to jump on my lap <laughs> getting into it you guys unfortunately i have a little bit of bad news michelle has been feeling just tired a little bit sick i think the doctor said that she needs to stay in bed and they're just no longer like able to just stay at mara's house and kind of help they're kind of focused on their own like pregnancy journey right now so unfortunately the stay over is gonna have to end, you guys. They're gonna have to go home early because unfortunately, she's not feeling that good. You know, Mara's not trying to think of it as anything crazy or that it's anything bad. So we're not getting too worried right now. When you're sick, you just feel like going to your own house, especially if it's bathroom issues. You're like, you know, I need to be home. All right, she's gonna say bye, dad. Thank you so much for coming to help me. Do whatever you need to make sure that mom is feeling better. Everything's gonna work out. Thank you so much. Okay, so you guys, I literally came upstairs and Michelle is here and she has a puddle at her feet. Pretty positive that she's in labor. She hasn't really been feeling that good. Like she's been in her bed for the past few days and it's time to give birth to this baby, I guess so. I'm not gonna lie, you know, I am sad that they're leaving because it was just such a good opportunity to spend time with them. I loved having them around, just helping us out in the house. Quick little intermission. Here she is. This is my senior little dog. Name Sasha. She's an old lady. Yes, I know she's tiny. She's about three pounds. Hi, my name is Sasha. Nice to meet you, Purple Pimps. Okay, now go to your room. She's spoiled, but she was barking and she wanted attention, so. We got the girls here. They're chilling right now. Lorenzo is at work. Oh my gosh, should we have him work hard? You guys, he's literally about to get a promotion. You start working hard, sweetie. So we're not gonna have those extra hands anymore. Mara's a little bit. I, I think she's fine. She knows she'll be fine, obviously. Talia's gonna be here here to give us a helping hand and she knows that she's gonna be just fine but she's gonna miss her mom i mean she had fun with them here definitely i think mara's gonna come upstairs and find her mom with the puddle in her room and i feel like marcus would probably see this situation as well mara's gonna be like mom what the heck is this puddle like you need to go to the hospital and Oh my god, what is she doing? She's like, let me just scooch on over here. Mom, like, why are you dirty? Like, you need to go to the hospital. But anyways, let's find a gig for Mara. So we'll be back at it again with the gigs. A contractor character design gig is available for AAA Game Production. This exciting opportunity comes with... 
with the ch- with the chance to get credited and paid. The publisher is under the gun to get this major release out prior to the end of the fiscal year, so they'll pay top dollar to any artist who can crank out top-notch character designs. So are we designing, like, video game characters? Because that seems really cool. <laughs> Lily officially joined me. Um, I think they'll probably go home on their own time, so meanwhile, I'm actually gonna have Mara come over here into the baby's room. Hey, girlies! Hey! We just wanted to do a little bit of tummy time, so let's get Elena here. Dahlia up here too, because we can get double the hands. It's okay, so Astira is kind of sad right now. <gasps> she needs some rest time. Okay, so I think she needs her diaper change. Where's Dahlia? Dahlia, how about before you come upstairs, I'm going to have you come here. All right, let's pick up baby Evanora. Mara came outside to do it. Daddy has got it, Mara. You guys, oh, I keep forgetting that we literally have like triplets. She needs to pee, she's hungry. All right, Mara, come up here. They want your titties, girl. If Daddy wasn't here, like Lorenzo would be at work. Mara wouldn't have any extra hands. Daddy is literally holding the baby. Oh my God, the hairy arms are back, but precious. This is so precious. She's just giving her a nap. And she's sleeping. Oh, look, she's literally on her phone. Wow, that, this is so realistic, you guys. So grandma's got the babies down here, but little Astira is hungry. So let's go ahead and feed this baby too, girl. We need to feed all the babies. First blowout milestone on law from Astira. Girl, this is not no milestone. After she's done helping the baby nap, she does have her garden out here, you guys. So we're gonna weed the area. Oh, quirk revealed. Free air tinkler, what is going on? All these babies are using the bathroom like crazy. Watch out. Estira frequently pees during diaper changes. Infants with the free air tinkler quirk are more sensitive to the air temperatures in the room. All right, well, she changed Estira's diaper. I'm gonna put Estira, let's put Estira to sleep here. Elena too? Oh my gosh. I'm not sure which baby should be in which crib. Let's change Elena's diaper. Oh my god, does Evanora need to change now too? And then this baby needs a bath. Okay, so let's have Dalia come out here and do her gardening though. Do these plants need any water? Um, last part, I don't know if it was last part, but one of the parts I was like, where's her garden? It was in her, in the household inventory. So her garden is perfectly fine, you guys. It's intact. Be on caregiver, milestone unlocked. Are you kidding me? Find cover, Elena accidentally peed while getting her diaper changed. No promises on this repeating for, uh, but for now, it's probably a good idea to take a shower. Okay, and Mara herself has to pee. She is exhausted. You guys, I kind of want to have Dalia come here and picture of the baby having her first bath. Because that's literally so cute. Hold on. Yes! This is so cute. Okay, let's do like a medium frame and then a small frame. Which filter should we do? Let's do just this brightening filter. You guys, this is so cute. This is her first little bath. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna have her come here and give Astira a bath. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys, so Lorenzo is officially home. I'm just gonna change his fit real quick. Oh my god, look at you guys, she's mad. Oh, Michelle Roper is calling to chat, wants to answer. So as Mara puts Elena down um, on this play mat, apparently, she's calling her mom. And she's receiving the news that her mom is in the hospital right now. So I think she went into premature labor. I don't know. It's probably going to be a long process. But this means that she's having this baby earlier. Now, I don't think it's like extremely earlier than what it is. But she's scared because her mom's been having to lay down. But we're just going to pray that it, that it goes well. She's exhausted. She's been taking care of these babies all day. All right, so honestly, Lorenzo, he's tired himself. But being the husband he is, he sees that his wife is overwhelmed. And Mara's going to tell Lorenzo. Lorenzo's going to come in here. He's going to be like, babe, what's going on? Why do I see you? Why is your face so dull like why are you upset it's like babe my mom called me she told me that they're at the hospital and you know the baby is coming and Lorenzo's like already and she's gonna say you know the doctors are saying that it's looking complicated right now and it's gonna be a long labor and I'm just praying that she's gonna be okay you know the babies are asleep right now 
just go take a nap or you can head to bed early tonight and she's just gonna go and take a nap she's she doesn't know how to deal with the situation she's highly stressed right now and i feel like thalia honestly she needs to like oh no get out there maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to give her a meet and mingle profile should we specify relationship goals what are you looking for marriage short-term friends she's going with the flow she's looking for a short fling or forever love like she's just trying to just meet people and see turn offs you know what let's not even specify that browse all profiles is talia going out on dates and stuff you guys oh is lily leaving all right let's see who do we have who do we have we need to find someone who's good for Thalia, you guys okay let's see dang ignacio robos looks pretty good for her to talk to but maybe we'll just send him a message let's see personality geek family oriented foodie family i have children i would like to have children relationship history i've never been in a long-term relationship and his turnoffs are musicians and handy interesting relationship preference and goals short fling or forever love uh, oh my god, wait. Should we meet up with Ignacio? I mean, Lorenzo and Mara couldn't go out on a date. Maybe Tadia needs to go out and get her day settled. Okay, you guys. So there's definitely, like, a lot of chaos going on at the house. And honestly, we'll see them ending up together. But um, I was like, why not just meet with him? I mean, Tadia's getting older, so, you know, maybe he's just a fresh elder, okay? He's newly an elder. Meet and mingle days are rather informal, so you can take the day where you want it to go. Get to know each other without jumping to romance, jump to romance without getting to know each other, or anything in between. Be yourself, and good luck. Talia sees Mr. Ignacio, and I'm gonna have her just come here. Let's do a respectful introduction. She's going to say hi. Um, my name's Talia. Nice to meet you. You know, I feel like Talia probably would have been hesitant to go on this date. Uh, discuss gourmet dishes. <gasps> Did they not have, like, did they have, like, a bad moment there? Let's see. Let's open. Okay, so she thinks that he's attractive. So let's go ahead and request a table real quick. Honestly, you guys, I'm just doing this, like, out of luck. We're gonna see if this works because you guys know that dine out just doesn't work sometimes. But she discovered that ignacio is a foodie which is pretty good because you guys know that talia can whip it down in the kitchen hi yes i want a table for me and my date talia i don't think talia was ever interested in romance but i feel like maybe lorenzo's been encouraging her here or there so why not you know current me and mingle day declare only wanting to become friends declare only wanting to hook up there is no way okay so let's go ahead and order for the table while we're at it so that is gonna come sit down cute you guys it's going pretty well i mean their friendship is building you guys can see they have a little friendship so let's get dalia maybe dalia will have a glass of wine i also just want some water and then i'm pretty sure this restaurant yeah they only have the appetizers available for some reason so ignacio's gonna have the clam chowder and then dalia let's give her a little salt and pepper shrimp cocktail cute so let's sit down and get to know ignacio's interests let's discuss interests Dada's gonna talk about cooking she does enjoy cooking and she likes gardening too so let's see uh ask about hobbies and skills she can enthuse about gardening too let's enthuse about gardening be like yeah i'm totally into gardening i have a garden at home and you know i have them there with my daughter-in-law and my son they're married and they've just blessed me and let me live with them I'm gonna ask him about his hobbies and skills oh they didn't get along you guys we can't they don't really have a specific compatibility right now either you guys yay dine out work thank you uh sachiko <gasps> yes and they both love it okay daddy has learned the following preference about ignacio ignacio likes cooking too okay so they have that in common nice so ignacio's kind of okay they're both kind of on their phone this is a little bit awkward a little bit awkward okay and they're gonna just take some sips and he was like, so, um, what about you? Like, what about your family? Do you currently live with them or anything? Ignacio's just like, yeah, I have uh, some children. 
but that's cool because we both have kids and everything i feel like it's going pretty well how about let's actually control ignacio for a second and i'm gonna have ignacio do a little flirt let's have him flirt with dalia and see how she handles that <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. you guys. Okay, he has like a big family. Okay, so Ignacio is loved. And let's just stop controlling him. I didn't want to control him for that long. I just wanted him to like have a little flirty moment with Dalia. So she's going to eat her food. Oh, let's see. How interesting. Dalia enjoyed hearing Ignacio talk about his interests just now. Okay, you guys. So I feel like... It's getting, it's going well. It's going pretty well. Maybe Talia enjoyed this enough to be like, she's going to say, hey, um, you know, I really liked talking to you. And if you ever want to, you know, have dinner somewhere, you can come to my house. I would love to have you over for some dinner. Oh my gosh. All right. So I'm going to end the meal and I'm probably going to give us back that money because I feel like most definitely Ignacio would have paid for that. Mara's dad called her. He said, you need to come home. Mara's like, what are you, what are you talking about? Like, like, is everything okay? And so Mara just kind of came here without Lorenzo. You know, he works tomorrow. It's literally 4 a.m. And she received the news that unfortunately, Michelle passed away during the delivery of her baby brother yes this is and he's in a girl room right now just because um this was Mara's old room and it just hasn't been updated yet but this is Mara's baby brother and his name is Malachi a new life was gained while another one was lost she doesn't know like how to react or how to function <laughs> I think I'm gonna bring uh, oh Lorenzo God. here because she she needs Lorenzo and Lorenzo is going to rush over here and Marcus is literally in the bathroom trying to I guess calm down this brand new baby is here and it's so so horrible that it was gloomed over by such a sad event such a happy new life like situation is covered by such a sadness just sadness right now and mara does not know what to do she feels like she can't even stand and she literally can't take it right now she she doesn't know what to do lorenzo he, is gonna give mara a hug michelle is mara's like rock michelle is mara's number one supporter and the fact that she's gone just think of her mother and the loss of her when she looks at this baby and Mara right now is like why why did she want to have this baby they already had me they already raised me did they not have enough with just me why did they why did they need to have this baby and Lorenzo's like Mara you have to listen like this was Michelle's like this was Michelle's baby she felt the same way when she had you in her belly and she did not want to just get rid of the baby and it was her personal choice she she wanted to go through with it mara does not want to leave her dad's side and this is it's one of the saddest deaths because we spent so much time with michelle in the end and i please don't be mad at me you guys but i just saw it as like these things happen in the real world she has three like newborn babies she does not feel strong enough to take care of these babies right now now it's like well what's gonna happen like is marcus gonna be a single father and be left to raise this baby i don't think marcus would ever abandon one of his kids um but marcus Marcus was prioritizing Michelle's life over the baby, if I'm being honest. He loves his son, don't get me wrong, but he's very, very upset. I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching this part. I hope you guys liked Lily's company through this, and please let me know what you guys would like to see in the future of this LP. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please have an amazing day.
sorry. Oh my god, why is my game glitchy the house? <laughs>